Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna take you guys through the process of creating a coloring book page for my new coloring book called On the Bright Side. It is all positive quotes centered around self-care and mental wellness and lots of my signature florals. Today, I'm gonna show you how I create a coloring page from a sticker that I already designed. And what I'm gonna do is take my artwork and then turn it into a coloring page by tracing the elements on my iPad. Uh, this is okay because the original piece that I'm tracing is my own artwork. If it were someone else's, that would obviously not be okay. So um, just wanna put that out there that tracing other people's artwork is never okay. But if it's your own, totally fine. And that's actually what I did for most of my coloring pages is I took my existing artwork and transformed it into coloring pages so that I wouldn't have to create a ton of new art, especially because if you are watching my TikTok series on this coloring book, I was on a very tight deadline. So let's get into it. I actually had a lot of fun just going through my old artwork and kind of curating what would look good in the coloring book based on what I already had and then also figuring out what artwork would actually make a good coloring page. A lot of artwork that had like hard lines or high contrast was really easy to transform into coloring pages because it's very obvious where to put the lines um, and so that was something that I definitely considered when picking out art from my archive to include in the book, but also something that my publisher, Better Day Books, was really looking for was some positivity, some more words and things like that. So when I was making the coloring book, it kind of felt like I was <laughs> returning to my roots a little bit because I started Elise Brand Design making like quote canvases. I would paint canvases. Um, with quotes and florals and things like that, which was like super popular in 2015. And I started the business because I was going to college and I was making art for my dorm room and my friend's dorm rooms. Um, and so it kind of reminded me of that in a way. Um, obviously it was a little more updated than some of those older pieces I had done, but um, I really also wanted to focus on this book as like a tool for um, like, almost like meditation and relaxation. So I wanted to incorporate those kind of vibes in the quotes that were included. Um, I also think that a lot of times like positivity and positive quotes can get kind of toxic. Like, um, you know, there's joy in every day. You just need to find it. Like there's a time and place for that, but not for everybody because it can be really hard to hear that when you're going through a hard time. So I tried to focus a lot more of the quotes towards like go easy on yourself and make yourself a priority and things like that um, because I think those are sometimes more so what you need to hear. And then also I wanted when you're coloring the book to have kind of like a focus on taking care of yourself and relaxation because that's how I envision the book being used. Um, it's a really fun creative outlet to make these pages, but I also think coloring them in will be fun just as like an easy way to express creativity. I know firsthand it can be really hard to sit down in front of a blank canvas and sometimes you just want to make something and kind of just exercise your creative muscles. Um, and so it can be really fun to just color something in or for me, like I like creating like a drawing in my signature floral style and just kind of experimenting with new colors. It's very easy, it comes naturally. And so I see the coloring book as an outlet for that. And I'm excited to use it too, because like I said, it's so hard to sit down in front of a blank canvas, but when it's kind of done for you and all you have to do is pick out the colors and the decision making is more limited, it can definitely be more of a relaxing experience. Creativity has always been 
very much like a de-stressor and a tool for me. Um, it has kept me motivated while I was in law school and running my business at the same time. And it also just kind of kept me sane. Like it just kind of clears your head. It gives you something to focus on um, and let you kind of digest the other thoughts and things that are going on in your life. So that's what I'm hoping for with this book. That's what I tried to focus on with the quotes and the format and the layout. Um, I tried to do a lot of artwork. There's 60 pages in this book. Um, and I wanted to do that so that it could be like a long-term tool, not just like, okay, you settle into a groove of coloring half a page or a page every night. And then all of a sudden the book is done. Like I wanted this to be something you could go back to and kind of rely on. So, um, that's sort of where the inspiration came from for a lot of the pages. I also created a lot of new art um, for the book, so it's not just all pulled from my archive, but when I created that new art, I had a lot of fun like really leaning into the style of a coloring book. So I pulled from some of my previous art for certain elements of the new pages, like some flowers I had sketched in the past, but never like made into a full fledged piece. Um, so that was kind of fun to give them a new life. And then I experimented with like new flower shapes and really just had a lot of fun with the line art because I don't do a lot of line art in my normal artwork. So that was fun to branch out for me and create wholly new artwork as well. So overall, this was just like so much fun to create. Um, it was really nice to dig into my archive, pull out some artwork from even like as early as like 2018 <laughs> and give that some new life. And then also really focus on what I wanted the user to get out of this book. And I hope that when it's done and y'all get to try it out, it will be that tool for relaxation and de-stressing that I'm hoping for. 